All right, guys, the four winners from yesterday's video. If you guys wanted the Merry Murderer skin, I'm actually picking four winners. All you had to do was subscribe to Casual Pro. Guys, go ahead and show some love over on Casual Pro's channel. He, We couldn't have done this without him. So if you guys do want more giveaways, again, subscribe to Casual Pro. Give this video a thumbs up. But announcing the four winners, we have Hunter Pavey. We have, I hope I'm saying, if I butcher your guys' names, please forgive me. We have Hector Griffin. We have Cosmic Pixel. And then we have Samuel Marzano. Guys, please contact me via twitter instagram it doesn't matter contact me uh, all the links of my social media is in the description below and i will be giving you guys the v bucks so you can get any skin that you basically want Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bushy Pretty Guys, another video. Guys, I recorded this video live, but I forgot to turn on my microphone. So the quality of the mic is extremely bad. So instead of just showing you guys the live commentary on this video, I'm gonna be breaking down this video and giving you guys the five easy steps to win in Fortnite Battle Royale Season 7. So guys, sit back, relax, soak in all this information and get ready to win so many games in season seven. So step number one is to land lazy links. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably questioning why lazy links, this place is sometimes very populated and this is true. Lazy links can be very populated. If it's one of the first cities that you land at, as you guys can see, it was one of the first cities that the battle bus flew over. So that means this place is probably gonna be populated, but you're gonna wanna go here all the time because one, you're gonna wanna learn the city. You're gonna wanna learn where the spawns are, where the weapons spawn at and stuff like that, where people usually land. So that way you can basically perfect lazy links and get the hand of it you don't want to keep landing in different locations every single time because you want to perfect one location so that way anytime you land there you know what you're getting yourself into and you know what to do in sticky situations so again sometimes the battle bus won't even be close to lazy links now that's good that means not that many people are going to go there but this is the hardest step is step number one and step number five now i think step number one is going to be harder because sometimes it's going to be a little bit more populated than other times so it's going to be kind of hard to win that city you're basically going to fight and if you can't win that city it's it's going to be impossible for you to win a game so you got to get your skill level up to the point where you're going to be able to win the city take it over and beat everybody there once you win the city and take it over we're ready to move on to step number two and step number two is loot every single thing you possibly can that you find at the city now we're not just talking about looting chests and stuff like that and opening up walls we're also talking about making sure that you're farming trees bushes brick walls metal anything metal and the reason this is is because lazy links is a segregated city like it's a it's a location that nobody's ever going to rotate too. Nobody ever lands Tilted Towers and says, hey, let's rotate Lazy Links. Nobody lands Loot Lake and says, hey, let's rotate Lazy Links because it's so far outside of the map to the point where everyone's like, you know what? Lazy Links isn't worth it. It's probably already looted and the people that landed there probably rotated out. The only people that might rotate is from Motel. They'll take a rift and they'll come over to Lazy Links, but that's sometimes. You'll realize that and see it sometimes if you land here a lot and you get used to it, you'll learn things like this, but it's not too often that people do that. So that's why Lazy Links is a good place. Once you win the city, you guys are going to see me farming every single thing that I possibly can because I'm going to want to get 999 brick, steel, and wood. Now, again, sometimes you're not going to be able to get all. You're going to be able to get wood for sure. Sometimes you can get brick up to 500 and then steel, you can get at least 100, 200, but that is good enough. We just need to have at least 999 materials in one of the categories, basically wood because there's trees everywhere, bushes everywhere. So that's going to be the easiest thing that you can possibly do now as you guys can see i'm done looting lazy links the circle is coming i'm ready to get out of here and go to step number three now before i do that i want to tell you look at my health look at my mats and look at my inventory i'm looking pretty good i have full health full shield basically i have 999 wood 100 brick and only 40 steel but that's good enough like i said you only need 999 towards end game now i have all these things i have a shotgun i have a deagle i have an ar i have a sniper so i have long range close range medium range i have it all i have anything that i basically need i have explodes and stuff like that and that's really good because lazy links has so many chests there to the point where you're gonna find shields you're gonna find good weapons you're gonna find good loot now moving on to step number three you guys is to come over here to the airplane hangar i don't know exactly what you want to call it this is the little airplane hangar that's what i call it you're gonna want to come in here close the door loot the chest and basically you're gonna want to hide in here until the circle closes so if you keep getting in the circle hiding in here that's good that means you're not gonna have to move you're gonna want to farm everything in here again the reason is because we're getting a lot of steel we're 
we're getting a lot of brick and we're getting a lot of anything else that we can farm off of these things not only are we getting mats we're clearing it up so that way if somebody does come in here we have a lot of different places that we can actually see him and third person peek him from now all these things being in the way he can hide behind it and we can actually end up dying like that so we're just making things safer you're also going to want to break this wall a little bit just to the point where it's at 50 hp so that way if somebody does come in here and things get crazy you have a backup plan you have a way to get out of there all you have to do is run up to that wall hit it once and try to dip out of there so this is all we're going to do is sit here and tell the circle basically moves away from us and we can't do anything about it a little tip for step number three is to come next to this little wall and you can actually third person peek the door so if you hear somebody coming you can actually watch them walk in and then get ready to shoot them with your shotgun so it makes things a little bit easier so now as you guys can see we're moving on to step number four now the circle we're not in the circle no more so we need to rotate over to the new one so you want to get out and get in one of these airplanes and just rotate to the new circle this is step number four you're going to be rotating a, a few times depending on how many times the circle moves away from you sometimes you might get lucky and you'll end up staying in the circle and you don't have to move now that's good if that happens that's good that means you, it's a less percentage that you're going to end up dying now again we're playing a numbers game this has nothing to do with skill but this is increasing the percentage that you are going to win a fortnite game because the less engagements you have the higher percentage of you winning the game actually is now a little tip to step number four when it comes to rotating to the new circle you don't want to land in the center of the circle i know it sounds reasonable to land in the center so that way you can actually just chill there because maybe the next circle will land on you but you're going to want to go to the edge of the circle the very side of the circle that's because nobody's going to be over here as you guys can see you're seeing me rotate over to a building where nobody probably ever goes like nobody's going to want to rotate over here waste mats to climb up here just to see what kind of loot is up here this place is kind of kind of out of the way nobody really cares for it now again the circle varies so this night might not be your your scenario every single time but that's why you got to learn the map and the more that you play the more that you'll learn it now again this is step number four so you're just going to keep doing this constantly step number four you're constantly doing until it's probably the last three people including you and two other people now the reason this is is because step number five includes how to win when it comes to the last few people now we're trying to avoid gunfights as much as possible so anytime that people are fighting we're not going to peek up and shoot we're not going to crawl around bushes we're not going to move from tree to tree on the floor we're going to fly to the next location pick a spot in that location and hide in that location with a one by one circle or you can be inside of the building anything that keeps you covered but you're not in the open a lot of people like to move slowly from bush to bush or tree to tree that's not how you do it because you can be seen from any different angle now from a spot like this i have high ground and i'm in the circle and i can see everything around me i don't have to worry about people seeing me because i'm protected by my walls surrounding me then i put this roof up and i'm able to third person peek it and wait to see if i can see anyone now we're going to skip to the very end of the game when it's me and three or two other people so before we move on to step number five you guys are probably curious what the heck happened because i'm missing mats i don't have any more wood i have no health and i have barely have any shields so if you guys want to see the fight um i'm gonna leave that at the end of the video it was unfortunate that i ended up getting in a fight with somebody in the game uh you try to avoid that stuff but sometimes it does happen if you do want to see how i got out of that situation and won the fight it will be at the end of the video but for now i just want to give you guys these tips so as you can see now it is three people left there's me and two other people now they're over there fighting you can literally listen and sound horn and hear them fighting each other so the only thing that i want to do is focus on the circle and focus on how weak they are how much if they stop shooting each other what they are doing i want to focus on them because the second one of them dies this is step number five the second you see one of them die you need to push up on that because the other person is probably weak because they just got done with the fight so that is the best opportunity now a lot of people make this mistake and they don't do this whenever they hear two people fight they're too scared to push up they're like yo you know what I'm too scared to do anything. I don't want to move. I just want to kind of wait till the circle comes and hopefully hope that I get an opportunity where this guy maybe falls and dies or something like that. That's not what you want to do. You need to get aggressive at this opportunity right here. As you guys can see, they're, they're, they're both fighting each other. There's no reason that I don't need to push up. They're distracted by each other. I can easily push up. Now, one of them killed him. And just like that, this other guy is probably super weak. He's probably trying to heal up and stuff like that. But because I pushed up on him so quick and so aggressively, he's he's now feeling pressured. He's not going to really get that aggressive with me because he's trying to heal. I just shotgun him for white health so I know he's weak. I know he's super weak. 
and just like that, I shotgun him again for one shot. So again, if I if I l allowed him time to heal up and stuff like that, it would have made the fight a lot harder. But because of the fact that I actually pushed him, got aggressive with him, and actually initiated the fight, it made things a lot easier for me. So guys, if you follow these five steps, if you do it out of 10 games, I promise you, you're going to win at least one of them. I promise you. Unless you're complete trash at the game. If you're trash, you're going to need to practice at the game. But guys, with that being said, if you please can, give this video a thumbs up. If you want more tips and tricks videos, I will go ahead and make more videos for you guys. All you got to do is give this video a thumbs up up comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Thank <laughs> you.